Easter weekend, which is coming up April 8th and 9th. You say, wow, that's four months away. And that's true. However, as part of the preparation for the encounter, there is uh, about um, seven or eight lessons that uh, we, they're called pre-encounter, and we uh, spend some time, uh, and, and we will be having a, a session uh, preparing for that, or we will be having sessions, and those sessions, I anticipate, will begin um, the second Wednesday of February, which is either the 9th or the 11th. I can't, I, I can't rec recall right off the, the top of my head what the date is. And so we want to, uh, uh, we want to encourage you, if you can, and there's no age limit on this. Uh, on our last encounter, we had uh, people in their 20s up to people in their 70s, and um, you will be blessed if you will come and participate wholeheartedly in what God wants to do in you and through you uh, during this encounter. And I think I've probably taken up about all the all the time that I need to at this moment. Uh, I do want to thank you. I don't know, probably most of you are aware that uh, last Tuesday we received word that my wife's stepmother of 34 years had passed away. Uh, she had a massive stroke on Monday, and uh, so she uh, passed away on Tuesday. The funeral was Friday, and uh, it was a uh, very, obviously, very bittersweet time, but uh, she is a, was a tremendous Christian, a tremendous example, a tremendous lady, and, uh, and I just uh, am thankful to have had the privilege of being around her for all those years. Uh, but thank you for your prayers. Those of you that know and, or that knew and, and have prayed, um, thank you very much. And those of you that didn't know, it's all right, I didn't tell you. But uh, we just continue to appreciate your love and support. Brother Ken, are you ready? All right, let's roll. First of all, i got to say something to Nick back there. I apologize, Nick. But when I come in here, I have so songs lined up. Sometimes I don't always get them to everybody. It's supposed to have them. And uh, so I gave a list there the other day to Nick. Then I hear Donna playing the song over here when we come in. I get all excited about that song. So we're actually going to sing this morning. Our first song is going to be 381. It is truly wonderful. But before we play it and sing it, I want you to know that next Sunday we're having a combined service again to close out this fast. I didn't know. Brother Bert, did you mention that? <laughs> All right. So uh, just keep that in mind. But I want you to know also that we're going to be trying to keep the early service every Sunday. Uh, I know this time of this time of year with the weather, it's kind of hard for some folks to get out this early. Sometimes with all the different activities, we have combined services. But that makes it kind of hard for you to know what for sure we're doing on Sunday mornings. So we're going to try and uh, get establish the routine again of having our early services. So you plan on it. And I want you to know I appreciate those of you that make your way out every Sunday morning for this service. And God bless you. Now, page 381, it is truly wonderful what the Lord has done. And you just can't sit down and sing this song. Page 381, shall we stand as we sing? Everyone's singing out this morning. He pardoned my transgression. He sanctified my soul. He honors my confession. Since by his blood I hope. It is truly wonderful what the Lord has done. It is truly wonderful. It is truly wonderful. It is truly wonderful what the Lord has done. Glory to his name. A 381. He Lord has 
65. the church fail me at times I thought <laughs> you know the biggest failure was I failed myself many times but Jesus has never failed me yet that gives me confidence in the new year that we face that he's not going to fail me amen and you know what's really great that when I fail myself most of the time that he still loves me and he still comes along picks me up sits me on his knees, put his arms around me, pulls me up close, and says, Here, child, I'm right here for you. He's not going to fail us, folks. Last verse, Then I'll dread not the future and fear not the foe. Sing with me now. Then I'll dread not the future and fear not the foe. I am safe in it. Shall we stand for prayer? 
Again, O Lord, we come into your presence with thanksgiving and joy in our hearts. We thank you for this day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it, because it is your day. Every good and perfect good gift comes from the Father of lights, in whom there is no shadow. And we bless and glorify and praise your wonderful name this day. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness to us. Thank you for your safekeeping. Thank you, Lord, for your redemption and for picking us up those times when truly we or others have failed. Father, we come to you this morning with the needs of your people. Pray, Lord, for those that are struggling with illnesses. We pray for those that are, that are suffering grief and loss. We think of the uh, friend of, of Leona Sheets and, and or, or uh, her daughter uh, Michelle's uh, friend who lost uh, an only child in a uh, tragic accident just this weekend. We pray, God, that you would sustain that family that you would draw near to them and help them. Lord, we come to you with the, uh, with the burdens of our people, the burdens of uh, perhaps the, the burdens of, of old age, the burdens of sorrows, the burdens of, of caregiving. We just ask God today that you would help us to remember that burdens are lifted at Calvary. And Lord, we present these burdens to you again for the perhaps the 100th time. We give them to you and say, oh God, we need your help and your strength today. Lord, we pray that you would be with us. We pray selfishly this morning that as we embark on these next seven days, God, that you would help us to truly humble ourselves before you and to seek your face and to call on your name and to turn from any and all wickedness that we might experience your healing and your strengthening and your power that is, that you want to have to be at work in us and to work through us. Lord, we pray for this new year. We pray that all around the globe we have no idea what even this afternoon holds, much less the next 364 days. But, oh God, we entrust ourselves and our world and our society into your hands. And we pray, God, today that you would help us to be faithful to your world and to our society and to the people around us to live lives that are filled with the Holy Spirit, to live lives that ooze out when we, sque when we are squeezed, that ooze out the love of Christ. God, that we might just experience tremendous direction and guidance and manifestations of your power and your presence. And Lord, we know that there are many hungry. We know that we, in the next few days, are going to do without on purpose. But, Lord, there are so many in this world that do without simply because there is nothing or very little. We pray we do not forget them today, God. We pray for the poor and the needy and the heartbroken and the abused and the bruised that are in this world. We pray for those, Lord, who slept underneath bridges last night. We pray for those who slept out in open fields. Pray for those who live in fear for their very lives because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we lift them up to you today and ask, O oh God, that you would hear and answer prayer on their behalf. Lord, we continue to thank you and praise you for all things. And Lord, as we extend, as we return to you this morning, a portion of what you give to us in the form of tithes and offerings, Lord, we give them liberally, we give them gladly, we give them cheerfully. God, help us never to be a miser when it comes to worshiping and, and to, and to be, being obedient to you. But help us to be faithful in all the things you have called us to. Bless your people today, Lord. Courage and give strength, we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated.
Shall we stand as we sing? Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father <coughs> and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. And while you are, Trish is going to come and be ministering to us in song. We thank these that come from Sunday after Sunday, especially to come and minister and uh, to us. And thank you very much, Trish. Good morning. Um, oh, I just forgot everything I was going to say, so I'm just going to say, isn't God great? <laughs> um, go ahead. <laughs> Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you've never known. But then things change and you're down in the valley. Don't lose faith, oh, you're never alone. Can we start over? I'm sorry. What a way to start the new year. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you've never known. But then things change and you're down in the valley. Don't lose faith. You're never alone For the God on the mountain Is still God in the valley When things go wrong You know He'll make them right And the God of the good times Is still God in the valley God of the day is still God in the night. <clears throat> you talk of faith when you're up on that mountain, but talk comes so easy when life's at its best. <clears throat> But it's down in the valleys of those trials and temptations. For that's when faith is really put to the test. For the God on the mountain is the God in the valley. When things go wrong. You know that he'll make them right And the God of the good times Is still God in the bad times God of the day Is still God in the night God on the mountain Is still God in the valley when things go wrong, you know he'll make them right. 
How true that is. 